The work in this show is all based on a, an early 18th century um, New England uh, Hadley chest. Those chests were, most of them were dowry chests. So the whole body of work is um, sort of an intense investigation of this early American form, this archetypal early American form, but I paralleled that investigation with an investigation of my own personal history as it related to the things that surfaced for me personally while studying that form. So dealing with the idea of dowry, um, you know, marriage, womanhood, vocation, inheritance, um, all those kinds of issues. Um, I'm a very traditionally trained furniture maker. Um, since I've gone to art school, I found myself looking back at the forms that I sort of grew up on and thinking about them not, not so much structurally like I did when I was learning to build furniture, but um, thinking about them conceptually and thinking about their historical and social context. I have three big brothers and they were all taught the carpentry skills from my father that were passed down from my grandfather. And But being a girl, um, I wasn't taught those skills. Um, <coughs> I mean, I helped my dad. <laughs> I wanted her to keep all her fingers. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So it wasn't until, you know, I had helped him along the way after my bro my brothers are all older after they left. So, I, you know, I had been the extra set of hands at the table saw, things like that. But I had never, I never learned, but, you know, I never picked up and swung a hammer myself. Um, so after I left home, then I went back got the woodworking skills, but I realize now that I, I the, in the way in which I did them, I, 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 I gained those skills sort of outside of his realm of expertise, so I came to them in my own. Um, so now he's my lackey. <laughs> um, not really, but this, this piece that we're building on site is very much um, about he and I navigating our way through the differences between the things that we do and the similarities between like being a master carpenter and being a fine furniture maker. Because um, in a very general way they're very similar, but when it really gets down to the details they're very different and like he, he'll say he doesn't have the patience to do the things that I do. We're building this piece that's titled Dowry and what it is is um, it's, a lo it's about three times the scale of all the other pieces. Um, which all the other pieces are based on an existing um, antique Hadley chest in the Milwaukee Art Museum. Um, so this piece is about three times the scale and it's built the way, so it's based on that form, but it's built the way you would frame a house. It's built all out of framing lumber, but in you know, that traditional way too of going back to his being a traditional carpenter who still swings a hammer as opposed to using a nail gun and a compressor. Um, so carpentry skills are outside of my realm of expertise, so without his help, I actually wouldn't know how to build this exactly like a carpenter would. Then in this one will be housed um, one of the other dowagers, as I call them, which is um, the only piece in the series that's really made with my fine working skills and finished to the level that I do furniture work, as if I was going to sell you a piece of furniture, as opposed to a more sculptural piece that's representing furniture, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I just didn't know what my stand was like. So, um, what I'm interested in doing is using archetypal early American forms. Um, and while, while I structurally study the forms um, and build, forms and new forms in response to that form, I also do sort of a parallel investigation of my own personal history as it relates to issues and ideas that the form brings up. So I investigate the social and historical context of the forms and then as in w what happens like with the dowry chest, the, the things that came up for me personally were um, ideas of family and marriage and womanhood and inheritance and vocation, things like that. 